Hey everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good today. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel, where we explore the secrets of our world and unravel the mysteries of the past and beyond. After hours of intensive research and exploration across various sources, I've uncovered some astonishing revelations that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history. Don't forget to check out the description box for more intriguing topics that you won't want to miss. I may not have top quality video, but I guarantee that the content is worth your time. Some may say I'm revisiting old ideas, but I believe it's important to question the narratives that have been fed to us and explore all possibilities. Stay in the loop with exclusive updates by joining my Telegram channel and make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants together and let's get started. During the Hajj pilgrimage, Muslims used to throw stones at a towering structure which represented Satan. However, what most people don't know is that this structure was originally an obelisk, a monument that has been associated with various religious and occult beliefs over the centuries. In fact, Muhammad himself proclaimed that the obelisk represented Satan. The replacement of the obelisk with a wall has left many wondering about the true motives of the Saudi government. Some have suggested that this was done to appease the concerns of Western governments who have been critical of the practice of stoning. Others believe that this move was part of a larger plan to erase the historical significance of the obelisk, which has been associated with various religious and mystical beliefs over the centuries. The fact that the Saudi government has replaced the obelisk with a wall has added a layer of secrecy and intrigue to this already mysterious ritual. Some have even gone so far as to suggest that there are darker forces at play and that the true meaning behind the stoning of Satan has been deliberately suppressed. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give it a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. The machine for destroying fortresses oh boy of 1915 was a technological marvel that astounded many with its size, strength, and capabilities. The egg-shaped construction of hardened steel with a thickness of 100 millimeters was a massive feat of engineering that boggled the mind. The machine's engines were placed inside the apparatus, which lifted an eccentric flywheel, ensuring that the machine rolled over the ground. What was even more impressive was the fact that the machine was fitted with searchlights, a wireless telegraph, elevators, living quarters, and even stores. It was a self-contained fortress that could roll over any terrain, carrying its own provisions and supplies. The machine was designed to destroy fortresses, and with its impressive size and strength, it was a formidable weapon indeed. The maximum speed of the apparatus was 300 burgers per hour, as specified by Semkishin in a note with the supposed characteristics. The sheer scale of the machine was awe-inspiring, and its construction must have required a team of skilled engineers and technicians to assemble. This was not something that could be built by uneducated peasants in their loafers, but rather a product of a highly advanced and sophisticated society. Imagine a transport of several hundred meters moving across the landscape like a colossal steel behemoth. The machine for destroying fortresses oh boy was a technological marvel that was way ahead of its time. Its engines and controls were reminiscent of the Titanic, and its massive steel structure could have easily dwarfed the Elf Tower. It was a true wonder of modern engineering, and one that inspired awe and amazement in all who saw it. What do you think? Robot from the Past As we delve deeper into the history of robotics and automation, it becomes increasingly clear that the idea of creating lifelike machines is not a new one. 
From the intricate clockwork devices of the 1800s to the amazing robots produced by Jacques de Vaucanson in the 1730s, people have been dreaming of creating machines that can mimic human actions for centuries. Perhaps the most famous of these early robots was Leonardo da Vinci's armored Germanic knight, built in 1495. Da Vinci was known for his fascination with mechanical devices, and his notebooks contain many sketches and plans for automations, including a hydraulic water clock and a robotic lion. But it was not just in Europe that people were experimenting with robotics. In ancient China, inventors were building complex automata as early as the 3rd century BC. These included singing birds that could flap their wings and move their beaks, and even a life-size mechanical puppet that could perform complex movements. Despite the long history of robotics, it wasn't until the 19th century that machines truly began to resemble what we think of as robots today. The steam man and the electric house were just two examples of the incredible technological advances that were being made during this time. The steam man, with its ability to run for hours on just a single bushel of coal and 12 gallons of water, was an engineering marvel that could achieve speeds of up to 27 mph. And the electric house, with its promise of electric appliances and lighting, was a game-changer that transformed the way we think about our homes and our daily lives. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of these early robots is not just their impressive capabilities, but the fact that they were created long before the technology we take for granted today existed. Imagine what Leonardo da Vinci or Jacques de Vaucanson could have accomplished with access to the kinds of materials and computing power we have today. In many ways, these early robots were the pioneers of modern automation, laying the groundwork for the machines that we rely on today. And as we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible with robotics, it is worth remembering the incredible achievements of the past and the visionaries who made them possible. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time... <laughs>